one of the easier projects that I do and it's one of the most impactful. It really ends up being awesome. And you can blow perfect smoke rings with this big garbage can. I'm going to show you in just a few easy steps how to make one of these. And sometimes we say, don't make this at home. This one you should be making at home because it's awesome. So all you need is a shower curtain, a couple of bungees, I found some cheap webbing at a hardware store, and then a garbage can of any size you want. Then we're gonna cut a hole in the bottom of that garbage can. You see I've measured out six inches here and trace around. You can make it a little larger if you want. This is really where you can experiment and then of course cut the hole out of there. That's where the air is gonna flow out of the garbage can. The next thing you need is the shower curtain. Just lay it out on the floor. I'm measuring about six inches away from the outside edge and then cut that off of there. This is going to be the membrane um, that you put over the opening that you push in so that it compresses the air or tries to compress the air and the air comes shooting out of that hole that we made. I've held it down with a little bit of duct tape and then you take those bungees and stretch them around the edge so that it'll hold this membrane nice and tight. You can see how much air gets pushed through there. Um, I like to stack cups up. Yeah! And especially when I'm going to do shows, I'll put up a big stack of cups and blow them down. Um, I'll put them on kids' heads. And one of the things I thought would be nice is to have a strap to hold this thing up. Because why not? And with a little flame, you can see just how much air is pushing through here. Then I decided I need to fill this with smoke. Now I've done it before and it makes these perfect smoke rings. It was really hard for me to capture on camera. Of course, there's my dog, he loves it. And I thought, what about some light in here? So I put my black light inside and plugged it into the wall to get kind of a hue of black light color coming out of there. And then I thought, you know what? To aim this straight, I definitely need a laser sight. So I just took a neodymium magnet stuck it inside the garbage can and then put the laser on the outside and I could point it anywhere I want. Now you don't have to make this with a big garbage can. Go and grab a five gallon bucket that you have laying around the house, cut a hole in the bottom of that and then just strap a garbage bag around the outside. I appreciate you watching. This is one of my favorite things, especially to take to elementary schools when we put on science magic shows and shoot blasts of air at the kids and then have this nice smoke ring shooting out across the crowd. I'll put cups up on their head, shoot it out across and knock the cups off their head and it's really simple to make so I'd encourage you to make one. I've got some other videos you'll see them pop up around here and I've got a full description of how to make it down there um, on my website you'll find the link there and thank you for watching. We got lots more videos popping up all the time. I've made it my goal to put all the stuff that I do in my classes on the internet so that other people can learn about them and make them and really enjoy science. So I hope you continue to watch. Get out there and bust some ghosts. <laughs>